Welcome back. Our next speaker is Allison Rowe. Before coming to Scripps, Allison taught high school science and math, rescued sea turtles, rehabbed elephant seals, and trained penguins, or flamingos, you pick, managed her family's pizzeria, organized a national symposium on diversity, equity, and inclusion, and counseled college students. But deep down, she knew she wanted to go back to school to study marine conservation. Her Google search history confirms this. In her time at Scripps, she wrote her first blog, became a certified scientific diver, and volunteered to sort through sea lion scat looking for skate and ray body parts. Though she started the program unsure of what she hoped to study, quite to her surprise, her interest quickly gravitated to fisheries, sustainable seafood, and culinary conservation, which brings us today to her presentation. The title of her presentation today is San Diego Fish Tales, Stories and Recipes from the Local Sustainable Seafood Community. Thank you, Samantha. Once upon a time, a chef had a baby girl. Over the years, she spent hours flipping through the pages of her father's cookbook. Fast forward three and a half decades, and that girl decided it was never too late to go back to school to pursue her passion. This is Paul Greenberg. He's an award-winning author who writes about ocean and environmental issues. His book, American Catch, was assigned reading for this program. On the first page of the introduction, it says, around 90% of the seafood Americans eat comes from abroad. In his conclusion, he says, we are what we eat, but Americans do not eat what we truly are. We are an ocean nation, a country that controls more sea than land, and we have more fishing grounds than most other nations on the planet. Yet, we continue to move away from the sea's influences, especially as we eat more and more imported seafood and lose more and more of America's seafood industry. We're in a fight to save American seafood, and this is not just a fight for our fishermen. It's a fight for all Americans. To save our biologically vital coasts, economically viable waterfront communities, and good, healthy food. A year ago, I did not realize I was part of the dismantling of America's seafood industry. I thought I was doing the right thing. I ate seafood that was certified by the Marine Stewardship Council, and I avoided seafood on Monterey Bay Aquarium's Seafood Watch Red List. But this is a label that represents the kind of seafood I had in my freezer a year ago, frozen cod fillets. This fish was certified by the Marine Stewardship Council and wild caught in the US. But if you look at the bottom, it was processed in China. Processing our seafood in foreign countries and then shipping it back home is one way that we are moving our seafood industry out of America. Here's another example, frozen breaded fish fillets. The box says it's wild caught and that the fish is Pollock. I felt pretty good knowing that it was wild caught Pollock, but the more I learned, the more questions I had about this product. This bright blue box is actually a box of mysteries. There's no country of origin listed on the box, so I don't know where the fish was caught. I don't know who caught the fish. I don't know what the working conditions were like of the fishermen. Was it handled properly to ensure food safety? And finally, how many hands have actually touched this fish in its ocean to freezer journey? There's an alternative to mystery box fish, and that's to eat local sustainable seafood. It's the best choice for our environment, our economy, and our community. I wanted to share what I had learned. The situation painted in American Catch needs urgent action. And except for a few websites, I couldn't find any San Diego-specific resources about sourcing and eating local seafood. So I came up with the idea to write an Ocean to Table book with stories and recipes from San Diego's seafood community with the goal of connecting seafood consumers to San Diego's fishermen, local fisheries, and chef-inspired dishes using local seafood. The first step was to define local seafood as well as sustainable seafood. I started with local seafood because that seemed easier, and boy, was I wrong. After many interviews with fishermen, chef, and scientists, it became clear that there are quite a variety of definitions for local seafood, and not many people agree. But if there was some consensus that came out of it, 
The two definitions that stuck were seafood that is landed in San Diego by San Diego fishermen, meaning it was unloaded in San Diego, and seafood that is caught in Southern California fisheries. As for sustainable seafood, there's much more consensus. After researching the term, it seemed that most definitions touched on three considerations. First, healthy and viable populations of the harvested species. Second, minimizing harm to ocean habitats and ecosystems. And third, ensuring the livelihoods of fishermen and seafood community members who depend on the seafood industry. Remember that box of mysteries fish that left us with more questions than answers? Well, your fisherman has answers to your, question, <laughs> to your questions. Knowing your local fisherman helps bridge the gap between the ocean and our table. This is Kelly Fukushima and John Law. Both are commercial fishermen in San Diego. Kelly has been fishing commercially for over 20 years and John for over 40. In our conversations, one thing they both stressed is the care they take in fishing and the quality of the fish they deliver. John put it this way, I treat every single fish that I bring over the rail as if it's the only fish I caught. I ice it, pack it, transport it, and deliver it as if it's the only fish I'm going to sell. I challenge anyone to say they have a fresher fish than I do, period. This is the type of quality that has led to trust between John and his customers. Because he consistently delivers high quality fish, no one ever asks him about the weight. No one ever asks him what the quality's like. They just ask John if they can get more fish. So this leads us to introducing the sustainable seafood species that are local to San Diego. Especially those species that most consumers don't buy or eat. For the most part, we lack knowledge and awareness of our local fishermen's catch because we don't see much of it in our grocery stores. We also lack dietary adventurousness when it comes to seafood. For most Americans, salmon, tuna, and shrimp make up the majority of the seafood they eat. We import a lot of these three products to keep up with the demand. And what's more is we have developed a four ounce mentality when it comes to seafood. What I mean by that is we like our seafood in four ounce rectangles that no longer resemble the animal from which they came. No bones, no scales, and certainly nothing that tastes too fishy. But San Diego has a ton of exceptional local species that are good for the environment as well. We just need to know what types of seafood to look for and then try it to see if we like it. For example, some of the underappreciated local species include, local products include, rockfish, sablefish, also known as black cod, and spot prawns, which are actually a type of local shrimp. Forming relationships with fishermen helps increase our knowledge of local seafood species. And this seafood is seafood you really want to eat. This is Tanner Seraspi, a third generation San Diego fisherman. She says this about local seafood. This is not grocery store seafood. This is seafood for the soul, caught in your backyard. Fishermen like Tanner and local fishmongers can help you choose local seafood that's in season and give you tips for selecting good fish as well as ideas for preparing it. If you're not comfortable cooking a new type of seafood at your home, a great way to try it for the first time is ordering it at a local restaurant. The restaurant chefs know how to highlight the flavors of the seafood, so you can really get a sense of if you might like it. If you're going to try a new seafood at home, it's helpful to have some simple recipes. So I worked with local chefs to introduce dishes made with local fishes. It's common to think that all seafood is difficult to cook and easy to ruin, but that's just not true. With the right recipe and the right flavors, you can make great tasting seafood at home. And if you can cook salmon and tuna, you can pretty much cook any local species. Here's some great options for San Diego local species and products. The first is grilled spot prawn, then rockfish ceviche, and finally, miso black cod. Local fishermen and chefs have so many recipes and ideas for preparing seafood that they are willing to share. You just have to ask or buy my book in the future. One of San Diego's most outspoken advocates for sustainable seafood and eating locally is Chef Rob Ruiz. When it comes to sharing his passion, he says, 
My goal is to educate locally and speak globally about the impact one person can make. You start with wanting to do good for your local environment. Then you realize you can impact the city, the state, and beyond. You may think you're only one person. How could your seafood choices actually make a difference? Well, we all vote with our dollars. What we buy shows what we value. When we use our purchasing power to support our local seafood community, it also supports sustainable oceans. There are truly so many benefits to eating local sustainable seafood. There's no doubt there's benefits to the environment, the economy, and your health. But maybe, and most relevant at the moment, is how the local seafood industry benefits our community. During the coronavirus pandemic and the stay-at-home orders, local fishermen kept fishing. This was hugely important because the supply of imported seafood and other products dropped, and some items became unavailable for weeks and sometimes months. Our local fishermen ensured that we did not go without fresh seafood. They adapted their businesses to meet our needs and safely delivered seafood to our homes. Fishermen go fishing when times are good and when times are rough. They are an asset to our community. Our local seafood has a story. I'm halfway through the writing of the book that will tell the story through the experiences of San Diego's seafood industry and make local sustainable sustainable seafood, a dinnertime favorite. For me, this year and this project connected the dots. My dad's passion for cooking and my years of working at his restaurant, combined with my passion for marine conservation, inspired this Ocean to Table book, introducing San Diego's fishermen, local fish, and seafood dishes. My capstone project would not have been possible without the support, encouragement, participation, and time of so many individuals. My acknowledgments represent immeasurable gratitude. Thank you ever so much to my advisory committee, participants from the seafood industry, chefs, photographers, mentors, NBC program staff, and of course, my friends and family. Thank you. Thank you, Allison. So we hear that your message is eat local, sustainable seafood, which is great. But can you tell us where the best place is to buy local, sustainable seafood in San Diego? That's a good question, because the grocery store usually isn't a great start, although I've started to see more local seafood sold in um, the grocery stores. Probably the best place is Saturday mornings at Tuna Harbor Dockside Market. You'll get to meet the fishermen who caught the fish, uh, as well as ask them any questions you might have. That's definitely a good place to start. Yeah, it sounds like you met a lot of interesting people while working on your project. Uh, do you have any favorite, you shared some quotes from, from folks you met over the course of your project in this presentation, but do you have any favorite stories or anecdotes or, or something special that you learned from those connections? I think I definitely learned an appreciation for what the industry brings to our community. I met several fishermen who are engaged in getting people exposed to local seafood and they take this responsibility seriously. Um, their commitment to the community was quite admirable and it was a, quite a pleasure to work with some of them. And then finally, you mentioned that the local fishing industry supports jobs in San Diego. Um, what other impacts does fishing have on the local economy? So for jobs, they definitely produce tons. They are not only employing people like deckhands, but they also work um, in the industries that support fishing. So things like the ship store or the gas that is needed to power their boats. But in addition to that, fish are sold everywhere. And so they not only support jobs, but they also support industries like the restaurants. And that could not have been more clear with everything that happened during the coronavirus pandemic. And several restaurants shutting down really affected the fishermen. And the same would be true vice versa. So all of these industries are incredibly interconnected. And we have a question actually from Sarah in San Diego who wants to know whether your ideas of sustainability changed as a result of this project over time. 
I would say my sustainability ideas got broader. I think one thing that came out of interviewing fishermen was how important the sustainability of the seafood industry is. Um, we do think about st putting sustainability of the ecosystem and the fish first, which is essential, um, but it's also important to consider how much the industry supports um, and we have opportunities to support the industry in return. And just as a side note to that, uh, most people say that local seafood is too expensive to buy, but there really are several species and products that you can buy that are affordable. All right, and then just one more. You ended a little early, so you get the luxury of lots of questions, and we have some coming in from the web. Um, Melinda in Arizona asks, how do you find sustainable seafood in a landlocked state? And what are some of your favorite recipes? Great question. Uh, so sustainable seafood in landlocked states is often flown overnight. Um, so you need to know who is actually getting that fresh seafood, and a lot of times that just takes asking the stores. Um, there are several stores that do source sustainable seafood, and that's kind of their mission and prerogative. So it's worth asking what their values are and if that's something they value. So I would say it's more difficult than if you live in San Diego, but it's certainly not impossible.